Shopify POS Setup and Walkthrough Tutorial for Beginners Hello and welcome to our channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up Shopify POS. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. And to create an account on Shopify, you could also use the link in the description in which by using the link, you may also get some discount or rewards upon sign up. But before that, if you don't know what is Shopify, it is a popular e-commerce platform that allows individuals and businesses to create and manage online stores, in which it provides merchants with a variety of tools and services to set up their online storefront, sell products, and manage their businesses. And from here to login, just click the login button on the top right corner, and after signing in, you will be directed on this page, in which this is what the homepage looks like of Shopify. And from here under the homepage, it will show you so I'm the option that you can start navigating with here home, orders, products, customers, content, analytics, and many more. And under the homepage, it will show you the setup guide that you need to do to set up your Shopify point of sale. Such as to start adding your product, customize your online store, name your store, set up your shipping rates, and place a test order. And as you can see, I've now successfully added my first product. And after this, the next thing that we need to do is to simply customize your team or your online store by clicking this button. Upon clicking on it, you will be directed on this page. And from here, you can start clicking Customize button to start editing the theme of your online store. And to see how your online store looks like, we could simply click this eye icon that you will be directed on the next tab in which it will show you what your online store looks like. And as you can see, if you scroll down below here, it will show you some of the products that you just add to sell on your online store. And this process is also part of setting up Shopify POS or point of sale which is primarily known for its e-commerce capabilities allowing merchants to manage both their online and offline sales through one centralized system. In which on the left side panel, by clicking orders, you could also see here the list of orders that has been purchased by the customer. And also from here, this feature allows merchants to create and manage orders for purchasing inventory from suppliers. So this feature is particularly useful for businesses that regularly restock their inventory by ordering products from suppliers or wholesalers. You can see here the drop and the abandoned checkout in order to track the order status and also inventory management, in which it is also helpful in setting up Shopify, POS, or point of sale. Now moving on to the product section, from here it will show you the list of your product that has been added to your online store, in which it will show you the status of your product, the inventory stock, sales channel, markets, category, and any other details. And if you want to add new product, just click Add Product button on the top right corner. Then just fill out all of the required information. And aside from that, you could also see here your collections, your inventory to track the number of inventory of a specific product. And also under the product, you could see here your purchase orders, transfers, and gift cards. So basically, the products option in Shopify is essential in setting up Shopify POS for managing merchandise and sales, in which this feature allows for efficient organization and display of products, making them available for sale in the POS system. Now moving on to customers option on the left side panel, from here, you can start adding or importing your customers, in which it is a vital feature for Shopify POS that enables businesses to enhance customer relationship, streamline communication, and drive sales. And as you can see under the segments, you can also track here the percentage of customers that purchase at least once email subscribers, abandoned checkouts in the last 30 days, or a customer who have purchased more than once, or even customers who haven't purchased. Now moving on to the content option on the left side panel, this option is also important in Shopify POS which refers to the management of product information, customization of the POS interface, and language settings. And from here, it will show you all of the files, including its file name, date has been added, the size of each files, and also the reference of it in your product. Now moving on to analytics, this option in Shopify POS provides valuable insights and reporting features to help businesses make informed decisions and track performance effectively. So as you can see, you can track here your number of sales, your online stores sessions, your total orders, average order value, the returning customer rate, and any other insight or analytics. That includes daily sales report, unified reporting and analytics, which store data, eliminating the need to export data from different systems. And under reports, you could see here the insight or data about acquisition, behavior, customers, finances, and many more. You could also see here the benchmark that is available. Well, by choosing Live View, you will see here the current visitors right now, your total sales at the moment, the top locations, customers, top products, 
and new customer behavior. Nasa that you'd also navigate the marketing option in Shopify POS offers a range of features to help businesses promote their products, attract customers, and drive sales effectively. With the use of automation and campaigns, you can improve marketing strategy. And aside from that, you could also navigate the discount here to manage discount and promotions. And now, under Sales Channel, we have here Online Store, which is also important in Shopify POS that allows store owners to seamlessly sell products both online and offline, providing a range of benefits for businesses. Now, going back in here, you could also navigate here the pages, in which only visitors with your password can access your store, and from here, you can start adding pages to your online store. While the navigation option, you can see here, they can start adding menu, and you can also set up here a filters to allow your customer to filter collections and search result, by the product availability, price, color, and many more. While under the preferences, from here, you can set up the involve several key steps to ensure a smooth and efficient process. And now you can now proceed to point of sale in Shopify, in which by clicking on it from here, it will show you. To get started, all you need to do is to answer this question by selecting your answers and clicking the submit button below here to proceed. Well, alternatively, you could also skip this part. And after clicking the submit button, you will be directed on this page and from here, it will show you that all you need to do is to simply get the point of sale application, which is also important in setting up your point of sale in Shopify. And after downloading an application, the next thing that you need to do is to simply fill out the other required information such as by setting up your store, including to set up the payment provider. And as you can see, the payments available that you can set up here or you can link to your Shopify point of sale is this. We have here Visa, MasterCard, American Express, and other payment methods. And after setting up your store, the next thing that you need to do is to set up your sales stocks. But as you can see, I'm now setting up my sales stocks. And now let's proceed by adding POS or point of sale stop, clicking on the stop option on the left side panel. From here, you can basically add stop or setting up stop accounts in Shopify POS, in which it is very crucial for effective store management. And to do that, just click this add stop button on the top right corner. From here, just fill out the contact information, the point of sale access, to ensure that each team member has the appropriate access and permission for their role. So you can basically limit their access by customizing their roles and permissions in here. And after that, you can now start sending invitation after setting up the stop account and assigning permissions to the stop member. And aside from stop, you could also navigate here the locations option, which it is also important in setting up Shopify POS since it will allow merchants to manage multiple physical locations or store from a single Shopify account, including inventory management, order fulfillment, stock transfers, reporting and analytics, and also stock management. And if you also want to maximize benefits, you could also select a plan or subscribe to their plan that offers by Shopify. And lastly, below here, you can navigate the settings option where merchants can configure and customize various aspects of their POS system to set their specific needs and preferences. And also from here, you could also start installing an extension for POS UI. So if you go to your Shopify app store, you could see a variety of extension that you could use for your Shopify POS. So basically, setting up your Shopify point of sale is not only limited under this point of sale, but also navigating all of the options on the left side panel, such as home, orders, products, customers, content, analytics, marketing, and discounts, which are all essential in setting up your Shopify POS. So that is just basically how you can set up your Shopify POS or point of sale. Thank you.